President Mohamed Buhari recently directed the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, not to provide forex for the importation of food items or fertilizer. Speaking at a meeting of the National Food Security Council at the State House in Abuja, the president urged private businesses bent on food importation to source their foreign exchange independently. He also directed that blenders of fertilizers should convey products directly to state governments so as to skip the cartel of transporters, undermining the efforts to successfully deliver the product to users at reasonable costs. Joining us now is Tunde Saliu, the CTO, AgroRite joins us. Thank you very much for joining us. Do we have Mr. Saliu? Yes, please. I thank you for joining us on The Breakfast. Thank you for having me. All right, let's get right to it. Uh, do you consider this a good decision by the federal government? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, theoretically, patronizing locally made uh, products is one of the uh, metrics of boosting the economy of the nation. So, yes, with the right structures, um, with other factors like encouraging uh, local, uh, local processing companies, to step up to meet the quality and quantity of the uh, demand. Yes, definitely. I believe this, this is a good move. Uh, there's been accusation of round tripping over the forex from CBN, uh, where the farmers even enjoyed the forex wherever before now. Um, uh, yes, but not efficiently. Because I would say there are so many orders to cross um, to get this uh, forex actually for uh, the average uh, farmer. So we're uh, with, with this move now, we'll see uh, where it takes us. But before now, I wouldn't really say it's really efficient. What is your assessment of the situation? Will the local farmers take advantage of this? And do they have the capacity for food sufficiency locally? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, the sufi food sufficiency is not uh, really the problem, I would say. It's, it's the uh, access to, for the average Nigerian farmer, is access to funds access to uh, fat, uh, smart farming practices. That's what I'll call, um, that's what I'll say the, uh, the problem is. So uh, I believe uh, that's why we have agri-tech companies like Hagorite springing up to, to bridge this gap. So um, I believe it's, we have, the, well, we have what it takes. Yeah, definitely we have what it takes. It's just uh, the government to put up uh, so many uh, structures in place, like encourage uh, processing companies, you know, uh, to uh, encourage uh, locally uh, made uh, products here in Nigeria. Definitely, definitely. Uh, th there uh, are concerns um, that this could be another country pipe for corruption in the forex market. What do you say to those concerns? Um, well, there is always um, <laughs> a backdoor to any uh, policy by the government. So um, the concerns will be there, but definitely with uh, the right uh, checkmate. Uh, on ground to checkmate all these um, uh, bad doors and everything. Um, it, it's a good move, really. Uh, to the local farmers and the subject of food sufficiency, do you think that we have what it takes to feed ourselves? Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe we have what it takes to feed ourselves because we, the, the land is there, the farmers are there, so everyone has a role to play. And uh, I believe the role of the government is to make uh, policies that we ease uh, policies uh, that will ease the production of this fo uh, food from our farmers and also uh, access to uh, machinery because we have expanse of land. Definitely we'll need um, machinery to, for the farmers to be able to uh, cultivate this expanse of land. So with the right policies, like I said, I, I believe we will we'll get there. Well, farmers have complained of lack of funds and unattractive loan credit condition. What is your experience? And that's that's the problem majorly. That's that's the problem, and that's why we have our agri tech companies springing up now to to bridge this gap. Yes, these average Nigerian farmers they lack access to funds because they are generally considered unbankable, because you know average farmers they are small older farmers and all of that. So, and we have agri tech companies like Agrites, likes of uh, 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 um, Farm Claudio, likes of springing up to bridge this gap and you know getting the general public to 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 participate in agriculture with the uh, crowdsourcing platform to source for funds from the general public to fund these farmers to finance them that's the bit uh that's that, that, that that's how we are tackling the problem in nigeria 
Let's talk about quality. Uh, this seems to be a major challenge for local farmers and others in the production chain. How do we step up the game? Um, like I said earlier, um, now that the government has banned the uh, forex for the importation of uh, you know fertilizer and all of that, the next thing to do now is pause really now to focus on uh, producing uh, to 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 bridge this gap to produce high quality uh, fertilizers, for example, that we're going to need to uh, cultivate uh, the land that we have available to us. So uh, the right policies from the government, I believe, really, that's what I believe is the, is the way to go. Right policies, you know, uh, making sure we are following the uh, standards, all these uh, manufacturing companies following the uh, world class standards. You know, we wouldn't have any needs to go and export from other countries if we are actually making a uh, quality uh, 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 product here in the country. Uh, before I let you go, I, I need to ask this again. How genuine do you think this move by the federal government is when they say it is to protect local businesses? They say it is to protect local businesses, all right. I, uh, well, I believe behind every uh, uh, good policies by the country, uh, by, by the government, behind every good policy is all. Um, you always find some, I don't know, some kind of a, a, a loophole, some people trying to find a loophole to, to back channel this. All right. So uh, I believe it's genuine and I believe they can also do more. So you, you ban the Forex, just why not ban the whole importation and let us focus on producing it locally. That will be a tall order. But thank you very much uh, for joining us on The Breakfast. Thank you very much for having me.